How do you know when you have good soil? How do you know? Here's what he says about the good soil. But the seed on good soil stands for those with a noble and good heart who hear the word, retain it, and by persevering produce a crop. When you plant seeds in good soil and it grows, whatever it is, whatever's designed to grow, whether it's fruit, plant, vegetable, whatever it may be, the way to get more seeds is by having the plants. If I'm good soil and I'm prepared soil and I'm engaged in the Word of God, I'm engaged with Christ in our community around people in my church, God plants the seeds of potential in me. What's going to naturally happen? Potential is going to grow. And then out of you and out of me, there's going to be seeds that can be shared with other people. There's going to be potential out of us that's going to go into other people and helping God give them potential. And then it happens over and over. And I want you to imagine, let's just say there's hundreds of people watching this now. If every one of us said we're going to become good soil and the multiplication that comes out of that will be game changing, not simply for our church and our cities, but it'll happen for our country. And it could start with as little as hundreds of people, dozens of people. If we say we're going to be good soil. And out of that good soil comes plants which yield seeds, which ultimately speaks to other plants. And I know that there's lots of people that are going to have this question. How do you know when you have good soil? How do you know? What we know is the path fails to provide protection for the potential that's in you. The rocks, they have a hard time getting depth to the potential that's in you. The thorns don't enable you to mature like you're supposed to with the potential inside of you. I want to pull up a picture of this tree that I found. To me, that tree looks absolutely dead on top. It also appears that it's not going to be there very long. But what I know to be true is for that tree to survive that long and be that big in that environment requires one thing. It requires that the roots of that tree are sunk down deep into the nourishment, the nutrients, deep into the moisture to get everything that it needs to become what it is year after year. And here's the catch. Regardless of how bad that sandstorm may or may not be, regardless of how much torrential downpour happens on the surface, regardless of how beautiful it, things are on the surface, regardless of how bad that tree looks on top, the roots, if they're connected to the appropriate amount of nutrients and moisture, nothing on the surface, nothing changes what the root system is tied to. And this, my friends, is 100% a, a picture of the gospel of Jesus and the things that are promised as a follower of Jesus. It has nothing to do with the situation that you're in on the outside and everything to do with on the inside, the type of soil that's connected to the appropriate nutrients in the roots, a.k.a. Father God. Another way to put it is this, is that if you come to know Jesus, you're not promised that everything's just going to be okay all the time, and you're going to feel great and be comfortable, and you're not going to experience any uh, suffering. You're not, it's not saying that you're not going to experience pain. We're not saying that you're not... He, he's not saying that you're not going to have terrible things happen to you on this earth. But what he is saying is that in the midst of the terror or the suffering or the pain or the beauty of this life, you will always have a consistent, loving Father that loves you, that likes you, and that accepts you no matter what. Because he is good. Because he is good. If you're not a follower of Jesus, what I'm asking of you is that you consider stepping across the line of faith and coming to know this Jesus. Because in him and only him can we find hope no matter what life looks like on this earth.